Today, I'm going to show you how to open and edit your raw files with GIMP. So if you're ready, let's do it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download and install an application that can edit raw files. So in this case, I'm using Darktable because it works seamlessly with GIMP. So make sure you download and install Darktable and make sure the application is closed. So I have a couple of raw files here that I'm gonna try and open up in GIMP. So I'm gonna click and drag these over the interface. Once I release, GIMP will begin opening up the files, but not in the GIMP interface. Instead, what it's doing is it's automatically opening up the Darktable application. Once it's open, it's going to show, well, only one image. So it's only going to open up one image at a time if you're trying to open multiple images. So from here, I can go ahead and edit the image that is open in Darktable. And then once I come up here and go to Darktable and click on Quit Darktable, GIMP is going to automatically open that file in the GIMP interface so I can continue editing the image as needed. But something else is going on as well in the background that you can't see. And that is our second image is now automatically opening up in Darktable. So now I can go ahead and continue editing my second image. And then I can go ahead and quit Darktable to have that file opened in GIMP. All right, so here is my second image in a new tab. And this workflow is going to be very slow and it's going to take up a lot of your resources, CPU, RAM, etc. And the more images you try and open in this manner, the slower it's going to be. And you may find that GIMP crashes at some point if you run out of resources. So I don't recommend opening up multiple images in this way. Instead, I would work on one image at a time, two or three maybe at the max. If you have more than that, I would recommend opening up all your raw files in Darktable first and then exporting them as a JPEG file and then opening them up in GIMP to do your additional editing. Now that brings us to something else that you need to understand about editing raw files with GIMP and that is you're not actually working with a raw file in GIMP. So any edits you do here will not be reflected in that raw file. Instead, you have to export it as a JPEG or a TIFF or whatever file format you need. And this is no different than Photoshop. When you open up a raw file in Photoshop, it's not opening up the raw file in the Photoshop interface. Instead, Photoshop has a plugin called Adobe Camera Raw where you edit the raw files. And then once you're done, just like this, you can open it in Photoshop. So if I do my edits on this, I'm just gonna go ahead and crop this. And if I come up here and click on this to close it, it's gonna say, save the changes to, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna click on save as, and I have a file format of XCF, which is GIMP's file format for saving multiple layers. I don't want this file format. Maybe I just want to post this on Facebook. Well, I can't save it as a JPEG file from here. We actually have to go up to File, Export As, and then choose the JPEG format. But you may notice right here, I have a file extension of NEF, which is the file format for my Nikon camera. So if you're shooting with Canon, it's gonna say CR2. If you're on Sony, it's gonna say ARW. And those are all the file formats for your specific camera's raw files. So if I go ahead and try and save this and click export, I get this message from GIMP that the given file name does not have any known file extension. So therefore, we cannot save this as a raw file you have to save it in a different file format that is compatible with GIMP, like a JPEG file. 